Okay, I have to say, I love engineering. I mean, I'm a bit of a functionalist and I like the way engines and machinery looks. So clearly, a lot of the time in engineering, you're a bit of a functionalist. The form is dictated by the function. And that can come into conflict with design, where design really is about how pretty it is, not how well it works. And I'm interested in how well it works and tend to ignore how pretty it is. But how pretty it is, is very impactful when it comes to creating a thing that's going to be used. Now, sad to say, I'm probably, in fact I am, bad at that. I tend to focus on the machine, not so much on the design and the way it looks. But then, I have a very good friend of mine, it's Ross from Intelligent Tinkering, and he had an idea that we'd like to share with you. So, Ross, what's your idea? You know I love tinkering, mm -hmm. I love 3D printing. Mm -hmm but I don't like changing that colour. No, who does, mate? Yeah, because once you pick that filament, you're more or less stuck with it, unless you want to do an awful lot of messing about. So I'm going to do something about it. What I was thinking was there must be a way to transfer an image onto a 3D print. That's brilliant, mate. Okay, I can see a couple of ways of doing this. Maybe we should take a fork. I'll take one way, you take another. I think I know where I'm going to go with this. So Ross's idea, I like the idea, hey, the idea of transferring somehow onto the surface of the print so we can include that design in the designs that we make. Now I'm not 100% sure what Ross is going to do because he can be a little coy at times. So I'll pop a link to Ross's channel in the description below if you want to jump over and see how the originator of the idea develops it and what side he's been looking at because they're going to be looking at different things than me. What I'm going to do is take the sort of core of that idea and work with that. And what immediately struck me was the idea of a transfer. So I have this thing, and what this is, is a cheap laser jet printer. And inside there, it's got this toner. Toner is really a coloured particle covered in resins and copolymers. The machine dusts an image onto the paper and rolls it over a heated bar called the fuser and the fuser fuses the toner together and fuses it to the paper. And the fuser does that around about 130 degrees centigrade. So my thought, we take an image and print directly over it, then because the plastic is melting somewhere around about 220 and this melts somewhere around about 130, it should preferentially stick to the plastic and remove a transfer from the piece of paper. So, let's try that. So I've stuck the image onto the PEI sheet with a bit of Pritt stick. Let's stick it in there. <laughs> it actually worked. I mean, the plastic stuck pretty firmly down to the paper. So let's soak it in some water and that should lift the paper off the plastic. Okay, there it is soaking in water. Let's give that a little bit of time and we should be able to just rub the paper away. Oh my god, that actually worked. I mean, this is on a single layer printed in PLA on the Elego with no changes made to it, but because the plastic was hotter than the fusing temperature of the toner, it's fused with the toner and when we remove the paper, we have our design transferred onto a piece of plastic. Now, I chose this one layer because I also wanted to test the one layer strength, but clearly you could print this on anything, anything you wanted to build, and there was no issue with putting a piece of paper onto the print bed because of the print bed auto detect. And so it came out really, really well. I mean, what we need to do now, obviously, is something a little more complicated. But then there's a huge choice of what you can do if you want to look at doing something more complicated. I mean, you could draw your own stuff, or if, like me, you're not that great at drawing your own stuff, you could go to some of the places like Pexones or Pixabay and just find yourself a huge range of artworks that you can put together to create some really interesting designs of all different types, including, well, Romantic, uh, nouveau-esque, deco, uh, steampunk, whatever hits your fancy. If you print it on a bit of paper, you can then actually transfer it onto your workpiece. So, let's try something a bit fancier.
This is what I decided on. It's a kind of sun and moon design that's got a Renaissance look to me and it's printed on a single layer with four holes. Of course you could put any design you want on there and the reason I've done it with four holes is because I came up with this little lamp holder. The design actually just wraps around the lamp holder and there's an LED there set in a little pole that gets a three volt battery and because you can hook it on and off you could make that replaceable and make these as many as you want and swap them when you're tired of them. Anyway let's give that a go and we put it together by gluing the lamp in there attaching two one and a half volt batteries wrapping that around there and slipping it over these lugs that hold it in place. Okay, so there it is. Let's turn it on. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty, eh? So, so there you go. A simple way to create and use transfers from your laser printer in your 3D printing to enhance your print. So I'm going to, of course, put these files on Thingiverse if anybody's actually interested in them. And don't forget to check out Ross's channel, link in the description, for the other half of this where he shows you what he's been up to. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.